Hey buddy, we're back here on another job up in the woods, back deep in the woods. But uh, we are up here, kind of right at the border of, uh, right at the border of uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, or right on the edge right there. Um, we are up here working in the Blue Ridge Mountains. We got trails, we have been working on trails this is our third day working on trails. So what it is, uh, this customer has some old logging roads here and he's got quite a bit of property. And what he um, wants to do is make it so he could drive like a four wheel drive vehicle, um, ATV, dirt bike, stuff like that through the trail and not get whacked off and um, just cleaning it up, nothing major. But it's just a lot of footage so <clears throat> we got the uh little side by side here um we thought we were gonna do a bunch with the rut cutter i put the rut cutter in the back she's squatting a little bit but um kind of pull saws lunch and everything it's a good uh 15 20 minute drive in the side by side we're not flying or anything you know going 10 15 miles an hour back to the truck so it is a haul um so what it is there's a road on this side of the property and there's a road over here on this side of the property so we're working our way across and we're going to connect to the road over here there's nothing in between nothing around it so we're going to get uh to where we're going to pull out of this side of the property but um what we've done is we've been working on the roads cleaning up the roads and a lot of people ask me why don't you use um force from ultra on a uh on the excavator probably the number one reason is um like what happens a lot of times is if you took the mulcher you're gonna end up with a lot of material like this in the road this is the re um and we don't want it in the road if we don't have to so he is fine with just kind of grabbing it and throwing it off into the woods so this job yes there are places where we could probably use one um but we just find it a little bit easier, hand cut it, grab it, throw an area to mulch. Um, you know, we have the excavator for, for that purpose, not for mulching. Maybe one day, but not right now at the moment. But, you know, I can run this stuff down right here um, on our way out with the um, skid steer. I mean, this isn't bad here at all, but way down there in the bottom, um, there's a ton, a ton of mountain laurel and it was just kind of all growing over the the trail so um we hand cut it either mulch it in areas where we could but how's it coming <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of walking a lot of walking for miles from the truck miles but uh Maybe another 10 minutes and I should have you ready to go up there. So I'm cool. going to show them the trail here. So it's nothing crazy. It's just stuff like this that is, is going to be out in the trail. You know, we'll run that side over. This is actually probably the lightest part we've seen in a little bit. But kind of limit up some of this stuff here. So if you drive a vehicle by, it's not scratching everything up. Same thing on this side. It's hard to see. but And then it uh, looks like... I uh, guess kind of narrow there. We'll go up, cut the sides off. So that's what we've been doing the past couple days up here. Um, this is the second time we've been up to this property. We've cut out some areas for uh, cut out some areas from overlooks, some pretty cool overlooks. We might get a chance to show you that. I don't know, but that's what I'm starting on over here. Um, the reason why we didn't film a lot of the trails is it's it's hard to see. You can't see exactly what's going on. Um, it's just a lot of handwork. Don't want to bore you guys with that. But we'll go check out these views up here. But yeah, that's that's after, and that's you know before. So <sighs> yeah. So coming through here, um, customer wants some areas to be able to come up here and camp or 
he's into the uh, over landing not terribly familiar with it but it's where you have like a I think he has um oh what's it called like a land cruiser Toyota land cruiser I think it is and they he's got like the tent set up on it got a little uh fridge in there and stuff like that and gets uh come up here and camp and stuff like that I think he's got one or two of those vehicles but pretty cool so coming down here I'm gonna start um you know pushing out it drops I mean way down so we're just gonna kind of go over the edge here same thing on this side just kind of going down this knoll we're coming out and then it drops off either side so we're just gonna clean up what as far on the edges as we can and uh but I don't know if you guys can see that or not oh, can we zoom I don't know how to zoom but um right out there that's Lake Joe Cassie um it's super pretty lake been there several several times uh nice lake big fish uh yeah beautiful lake so we're gonna open this up we're actually gonna be cutting a few of these down um to be able to open open up the view for them and get some of this mountain lore out of here see like these guys sticking up we're just gonna cut them let them fall and uh so we can keep that nice open look we might end up taking out this one i'm not sure i wouldn't be surprised if we are but um yeah so that's, that's what we got and i'm gonna start over here start uh roughing out that section
hard to tell, but a lot steeper than it looks. It's extremely steep. So I, I'm gonna try to get that log out of there. Um, he mentioned he wanted some good firewood, so that'd be great firewood. It's good and dry, it's a white oak. Someone had dropped it probably for the view, but uh, I think I could go a little farther on this side then shoot over this way is kind of my plan. Willie's uh, getting that trimmed up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit that before it dries out too bad. Get that done up there. He's probably pulling it out right now the, with the mini. making our way up here on top of the machine but uh yeah definitely we got that big tree out of the way that was right here where, where i'm sitting uh willie's pulling out what i kind of fell off the edge uh he's pulling it up and throwing it down here for me i got that finished off up there a little bit more to do right there and then we're gonna try putting on the rut cutter for the excavator uh it's a bush hog 
uh, swinging blade push hog and we will um, we're gonna see what we can do as far as knocking down some of that stuff out there I have a feeling he's gonna want these these trees right here kind of just drop some of those out there some of those tall ones out there drop um, you know I think he's gonna put it like his campsite kind of here kind of a higher spot and then looking out so that'd be pretty cool when it's all said and done but
All right, so I got them trees out of the way, got this cleaned up. Willie had to run all the way back to the truck and get some wrenches so he can put the rut cutter on, but the customer is just fine with just us kind of knocking stuff down here. You know, do what we can do, but faster, easier, whatever, just he's worried about the views more than anything. But I'll let you look at this thing real quick. Hold on. But this is what it is. It's just a little, uh, it's just a little flail or flail swinging blade uh it's not too sharp but that spins around there if you hit something terribly hard but uh we'll be able to knock some of that stuff back it doesn't do a great job as far as um it can't make mulch like this is what i'm getting at but Oh yeah, we'll hold it. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 